Before we demonstrate Interport, a brief overview of what an integration engine does. Interport and other engines operate by reading data from a source, processing that data to clean and transform it, then writing the new data to a target system. Interport can be used to insert or update multiple areas in your CRM system in a single operation. What you can see on the screen now is an Interport profile, the package of instructions that says, take the data from here, do this to it, and write it to there. In the first step, we specify the source of the data, in this case an Excel spreadsheet, and the target of the data, Microsoft CRM. Interport has connectors for many different types of data source. You can create a connector in the Connector Manager, then use it in many different profiles. In the second step, you specify what data you want from the data source. In our example, we are reading from a worksheet in the Excel spreadsheet. When we click Update Preview, we can see the first few records from this spreadsheet. We can also go to the Preview Control and specify that we want to see 5, 10, 15, 20 records and click Update Preview again. In the third step, we add new fields to the incoming record. This lets us start the process of making changes to our data. For example, in the spreadsheet we have a full name field. In Microsoft CRM, we have a first name field and a last name field. In this tab, we can create new fields for the first name and last name, and then use Interport Expression Editor to parse the full name, parse the field. The Expression Editor allows us to build simple or complex expressions to transform data. On the left-hand side, it shows the first record from the preview pane. On the right-hand side, it shows all the specialized functions that Interport has available. If we expand a category and click on a function, if we expand a category and click on a function, we see the parameters required, what data type they are, and a brief description. We also see an example of how to use it. When the expression is built, we can click Test Expression to see what happens, and uh, then OK to save the expression. An example of a more advanced capability is shown below. Interport gives us the ability to remap a status value from the source data to the correct value required in the target CRM system. We do this by looking up the source value in the spreadsheet and getting the correct value for CRM. When we click on Update Preview, we can see the new fields added to the record. Notice the first name field, which has been parsed from the full name field, and the Game of Thrones status field, which has been modified from the incoming val status value in the Excel spreadsheet. There is even more advanced functionality demonstrated below this, but uh, that will be covered in another video. In the fourth step, we can test the state of our incoming data. For example, we check if the Game of Thrones status field has the value CRM uncertain, then add a note to check back in Season 6. Once again, when we click Update Preview, we can now have a look at the CRM Notes field and notice that it's only been updated for a couple of the records. In Step 5, we are ready to map to CRM. Interport lets us map multiple entities in a single operation, Account, Contact and Annotation. For each entity, we can decide whether we want to create or update existing records or delete, how we want to match on the record, how the source fields are mapped, and what happens before or after the entity is updated. In the matching on the account table, we've used an interport expression to match on the normalized value of the company name. The norm comp function strips off noise words like Inc, Incorporated, LLC, GmbH, SARL, etc. It strips off punctuation like uh, commas and full stops, and it strips off um, white space and lower cases everything to give us a better chance of having a, having a match. When we map a field, the Field Mapper dialog box shows us the source field records, source and the target records, and lets us map a source field to a target field. To map, we select a field on the left, select a field on the right, and then click Add Selected Fields to Map. It also lets us select filter by saying, showing the fields that are not mapped, or showing the fields that are mapped to make it easier to handle very large records. On the contact table, we can see on the post operation that we are updating the source Excel spreadsheet with information about what has happened with the contact that has been imported. 
On the annotation table, we can see that we are selecting to skip the table if the annotation field is blank, so if there are, note, if there are no notes. The final step lets us specify log control and other job control functionality. In this example, we are creating a log file in the innerport log directory, and we'll show you what that log does when the job is completed. When we click Save Run, the dialog is saved away and the Run dialog box comes up. The Run dialog box allows us to specify where we want to start in the, in the batch of incoming records and how many records we want to process. When we click Start, the status line updates to show us the what's happening with the data and the um, timer kicks off to let us know how long the job is taking and the status line updates through the, through the job. When the job is complete it shows us the total number of records that have been processed, how long it took, and we can then go and have a look at the log file to get detailed statistics about the job. The log file will show us details about how many records were processed, the date time it's run, and then what happens with each entity um, that we were importing into. Finally, Interport can create a PDF document of the profile to give you hard copy documentation of how the job was set up. This shows us all the expressions that have been built, including any notes that we created in the process of building the profile, it gives us all the details of the changed data, and then shows us all the details of the mapping that's been made to the target system. That concludes the very brief demonstration. Thank you for your time. Please remember that Interplex can provide professional services and training to assist you with your project. And please don't hesitate to contact Interplex if you would like a no-obligation demonstration.